Hi guys, welcome back. As you all by now probably know, there are two main types of solar charge controller. One is PWM, the other is MPPT. The cheap PWMs bring down the voltage to charge the battery, but don't step up the current. MPPTs on the other hand bring down the voltage, but also step up the current, so as to get the maximum power out of your solar panels. And they are pretty expensive. Today, I'm going to show you a small device that costs as little as a cheap PWM solar charge controller, but gives a power output that is similar to that of an MPPT charge controller. This device here is called the buck converter, also known as a DC to DC step down converter. In this video, I'm going to show you this buck converter in action and calculate its efficiency to give you an idea of how you can add this device to your off-grid solar setup to get the maximum power out of your panels. Well, just a reminder, if you are interested in purchasing this device online, I will be adding an Amazon link in the description below so that it will be easier for you to find it. If this is the first time you're seeing one of my videos, please hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my future videos. Also, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. So as you all know, power is equal to volts into amps. So we'll test our panel and see how much power is coming at the moment. It's currently giving 18.69 volts. We will see how many amps our, pan our solar panel is producing at the moment. It's now late in the evening and it's 0.69. Let's see how many amps we can get from our PWM solar charge controller. Point six nine. The same amps which are coming through this wire is only coming through the PWM charge controller. So as you can see what I have here is a 20 amp DC to DC converter. It comes fully assembled and it has two nice big heat sinks as well. The input comes here and the output goes here. As you can see, there are two trim pots, CC and CV. CC stands for constant current, where you can adjust the out output amperage, and CV lets you adjust the output voltage. So we'll test this and see how it works. Now I have connected my uh, solar panel input to this buck converter, and we are going to check how many amps we are able to get. At the input side we are getting 0 0.6, 0 0.7 amps and output we are getting 2 amps. Let's check the voltage. Nineteen nineteen point five volts on this side, and output voltage is fourteen volts. So we have set the buck converter at fourteen volts, and we are able to get the amperage up from point seven to two. Okay, so with a hundred percent efficiency rating, I was expecting to get point nine seven amps at the voltage of 14 volts but we got 2 amps which at that time I was unfortunately not able to measure the voltage because I only have one multimeter so most likely the voltage would have dropped to around 6 or 5 volts but anyway this test clearly shows that our buck converter here is able to increase the amperage from 0.7 amps to 2 amps so this thing definitely works I would recommend you use this buck converter between the panel 
and your cheap PWM solar charge controller for two reasons. One is this charge controller has a uh, has a dial which shows the battery voltage and also it has diodes that prevent the battery voltage, the battery power to come back into this buck converter at night time when the sun is not shining. So that's all for this video. I'll be adding a link to this device in the description below so that it will be easy for you to find. If you like my videos, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss out on any of my future videos. Also, don't forget to check out my other videos on this channel to learn on more ways of optimizing your DIY off-grid solar power system. Thanks for watching.